A military man sentenced to prison for sexually assaulting a teenage girl. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a 48-year-old military man has been sentenced to prison for sexually assaulting a young teen in 2020. Last month in Scottsdale County District Court, Niall Poorbear was sentenced to a total of three and a half years in prison after pleading no contest to charges of third-degree sexual assault of a child and a sex offender registration violation. Court records show that the investigation began stemming from a Project Harmony report from the girl who indicated that Poor Bear had inappropriately touched her when he was staying at her mother's house. Poor Bear will also be now to register as a lifetime sex offender and will have to serve a term of nine months of post-release supervision when released from prison. Well, the Nebraska State Patrol says a Bayard woman has died following a Thursday night crash on Highway 92 just west of Melbita. The crash occurred when a Buick Park Avenue was traveling eastbound on Highway 92 and crossed the center line, striking a westbound Ford F-150. The driver of the Buick, 25-year-old Serena Parks of Bayard, was transported by Airlink to Regional West Medical Center, where she was later pronounced deceased. The driver of the Ford, 23-year-old Alexis Guardardo of Douglas, Wyoming, was transported by ground ambulance to Regional West, where he was treated and released for minor injuries. The crash remains under investigation. We'll have more news right after this. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Welcome back. A tentative April trial date has been set for a Scotsman man charged with numerous child sex crimes. 41-year-old Boyce McFarland was arrested in September after Scotsman police investigated accusations that he sexually assaulted a teenage female multiple times last year and this year. Last month in district court, McFarland pleaded not guilty to all charges, which includes two counts of first-degree forcible sexual assault and three counts of third-degree intentional child abuse without injury. He is scheduled to be back in court in March for a pretrial hearing, and he remains in custody on a half a million dollar bond at 10%. Well, Nebraska has had a number of deadly and destructive fires this year, and nearly half the state remains in extreme or exceptional drought. If it's as windy this year as it was last year at this time, fire risk to life and property will continue to be high. Ted Tihan with the Nebraska National Forest Service at Halsey says there's no longer a fire season, it's a year-round phenomenon. One firefighter died fighting the National Forest Fire in Halsey, which burns nearly one-fourth of the largest hand-planted forest in North America. It's believed to have been human-caused, but remains under investigation. Tihan says a spark is all it takes in these dry conditions. That will start fires right now if you would throw your cigarette butt out. Check underneath your vehicles, make sure you're not caught something, something's dragging, and just don't want anything that could start a spark. 
Fires took the lives of three Nebraska firefighters this year. More than a dozen were injured, and one has been recovering in a Lincoln Rehab Center for over a month. Although people cause nearly 85% of all wildland fires, Dehan says most fires in the Nebraska National Forest are caused by lightning strikes. And Ash Hollow State Historical Park will have limited access starting in mid-December to allow for park improvements focused on improving accessibility. Both the public bathroom and the sidewalk entrance to the visitor center will be renovated to meet wheelchair accessibility requirements. During construction slated to be completed by early next spring, no vehicle or foot traffic will be permitted to the visitor center or parking area and some activities may be interrupted. Access to the rest of the park will remain open daily from sunrise to sunset, including the primitive restrooms. Allo means reliability, productivity, connect. Allo means no more of that. Allo means business, local business, big business, small business. If you need reliable phone and internet connectivity, you need Allo. Local service and same day dispatch. Free installation, symmetrical upload and download speeds. If your business relies on communication, rely on Allo. Allo means business. Visit allofiber.com forward slash business. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the Great Big Small Bank, a bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Let's recap a busy weekend of action on the hardwood. We'll mix in some wrestling results for you as well. We start with the season opening Western Conference tournaments that ran Thursday through Saturday. The title games on Saturday afternoon up at Cougar Palace with a couple of Scotts Bluff Sydney showdowns. In the girls game it was all Lady Raiders really as they beat Scotts Bluff 51-37. Reese Riddle led Sydney with 21 points and they played outstanding defense all game long on some of Scotts Bluff's top scorers like Peyton Berta and Anna Kelly. That duo combined for just 10 points and had only three through three quarters. Sydney went up by 14 at halftime and led by 20 plus at times in the second half. They closed out a perfect 3-0 start to the year with an impressive win over their rival. Paige Horn led Scott's Bluff in scoring with 17. 15 of those came in the first half. Same matchup in the boys game and a much closer contest throughout. Sydney got off to an eight point lead after some early hot shooting from behind the arc at the end of the first quarter. It was Micah Schneider burying three three-pointers in that opening stanza. But then the second quarter and the Bearcats start to take control a bit. Kellen Harris scored eight of his 18 before halftime. And Tate Talkington scored nine of his team high 19 in the first half, including three three-point buckets. Down the stretch in this one, the Bearcats able to shoot well at the line, knocking down eight of nine at the charity stripe in the fourth quarter. Talkington, Harris, and also freshman Nate Kelly, all in double figures for the Bearcats. They open the year 3-0. Sydney 
was paced by Isaac Doty's 16 points. Both Scott's Bluff teams head to Gillette, Wyoming later this week. In some other action from the weekend, both Gearing teams finished 1-2 and two after opening night wins. The girls falling to Shadron in the third place game. Sterling bested the Bulldog boys in the third place game Saturday. The juggernaut Bridgeport girls squad opened the year with two blowout wins over Perkins County and St. Pat's. Now that high school wrestling, we saw Scott's Bluff competed a loaded Kearney invite with teams from Nebraska, Missouri, and even Texas in attendance. The Cats finishing in third place behind a pair of state-ranked teams in Class A. Connor Whiteley and Frankie Trevino both taking first place on the day. For Gearing, they were in Cozad at the invite. They're finishing in third place. Colin Schwartzkopf, the only first place finisher individually for the Bulldogs at the Cozad invite. And with the high school kids at WNCC for the weekend, that meant both Cougar basketball teams were on the road for the Border War Classic Games in Gillette. The Cougars go a combined 5-1 and one on the weekend. The men swept games from Dawson, Miles, and Williston State, while the women opened with back-to-back -back wins before dropping one yesterday to Williston. The Cougar men are now 6-4 and four on the year, three straight wins. The women at 8-4, and four, both WNCC teams teams home this weekend for classic action at Cougar Palace. That's the latest today from right here at the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee, only from the Great Big Small Bank, a bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Culture trumps everything else. In my years, I've never worked for a company that treats people the way this one does. It is my passion for agriculture that brought me here in the first place, but not only that, there's a huge uh, family-oriented atmosphere within the 21st century equipment. I love working for 21st. They found something in me that I didn't know in myself. An intern to where I'm at now is such a great opportunity, and that is what this company is about. Let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. 
United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver, along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today, and remember, United Miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally, tonight, Scottsbluff County Commissioners have approved the use of ARPA funding for repairs to the Broadway Bridge over the North Platte River that would see improvements to both spans. Road Superintendent Steve Baird outlined the work that would be completed on the West Band for $1.1 million, saying there are less expensive options, but the county would get for what it pays for. They do have a very cheap way to do it, only $480,000 for a 10-year <coughs> life. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to call this free money. We don't get this every day. In 10 years, we're not going to have another million and a half dollars sitting around to make a pair on these bridges like we do now. So that's why I would prefer to do the 1.1 million. If you have a 65 year life, it's going to last. Repairs to the East Band would add $275,000 to the project, and commissioners agreed with a request to add another 20% as a hedge against rising material costs, which would bring the overall cost at just over $1.6 million. Baird told KDB News his department would likely start to seek bids shortly after an additional conversation with engineers. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.